everyone. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, we are going to knit this simple infinity scarf. This is made with one stitch, great for a beginner. So grab your materials and let's get started. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we're going to try some new yarn. In today's video, we are going to make an infinity scarf using a 24 peg loom, velvety smooth yarn, your yarn tool, and a pair of scissors and your darning needle. We're going to start by making a slip knot. It's important to note here I used 15 pegs. And we're going to place it on the white anchor peg here if you don't have this loom. Just place your slip knot by the first peg by the anchor peg. So we're going to wrap each individual peg one time and take the bottom stitch over the top stitch. So again, we're just wrapping around the peg twice and taking our bottom stitch and placing it over the top stitch over the peg. Do this until you get to where your stitch marker is on the 15th peg. I placed a little tiny rubber band on my 15th peg, but you can also use a piece of yarn or just a regular rubber band. You'll definitely be glad that you did use a stitch marker. It's easy to forget and just keep going. I would advise placing a stitch marker on your loom like I did to mark the 15th peg. Okay, so we're at our 15th peg, so we're going to go and wrap the other way. We're keeping this very simple doing the e-wrap stitch, which is making tiny little e's on each one of the pegs that you're working with. So just keep going till you get back to the anchor peg or the white peg that we're working with here. And then we're going to take the bottom stitch over the top stitch again. So now we're going to knit off back to our stitch marker. I'm just curious, have you ever worked with this yarn before? This is Hobby Lobby's Velvet Yarn, and I know Burnett has their own version as well as Lime Brim. I've heard mixed reviews on these yarns, so I'm just curious if you have ever worked with this yarn and how you liked it. Okay, so we are back to our stitch marker, so we're going to push the stitches down and then we're going to wrap the other way. Now something I need to add here is we're skipping the first peg on both sides when we wrap. So, and we're doing that to create a nice pretty edge. So you'll see as I'm doing the e-wrap stitch, I'm just uh, wrapping each peg until we get to the stitch marker, secure your yarn and take the bottom over the top. And then I'll show you on this side how I'm skipping the first peg. And again, you'll want to do that on each one of the sides. To avoid confusion, you do this after your cast on. So I will show you, we're almost done knitting over. That's our last one. Then push your stitches down a bit. And now the working yarn is by the stitch marker. So I'm going to skip. That's how it's looking. So I'm going to skip the peg with the stitch marker. We're not doing that peg. We're going to go to the next one. And that's what I mean by we're going to do that on each side. So keep on going. Okay. 
Since this is our only stitch, something you might want to consider is cutting a straw before you start your project and inserting your working yarn inside the straw. Some people like to do that and some people don't. I don't like to do it when I'm making a video. When I'm not making a video, I, I do it. It does go faster. It just, for me, it's hard to make a video using the straw for some reason. So I just thought I'd add that since this is our only stitch. Using a straw might be helpful to make the project go a little faster, but this is a very quick project to do. So there again, I skipped my first peg and just keep wrapping back and forth. A common question that I get is, what size should I make my scarf? Well, for this in particular scarf, I am Make, obviously, I'm making sure it goes around my neck and a good marker is your belly button. So it depends on how long you want it to be, how many times you want to wrap it around your neck. I personally don't like it. I don't like the layers and layers around my neck. So I'm wrapping and measuring until I get to my belly button. So I just take the loom as I'm knitting and as you get length, and place it around your neck and make you know and match it up so you can see exactly how long it's going to be that's how you measure and get a idea of where you want to stop so go ahead and keep on knitting okay I'm at a point where I need to add a new skein so I thought I would show you exactly how I'm gonna do that this is the end of my skein. So now I'm going to add a new skein. And I'll just give you a glimpse of what a new skein looks like. Okay, so I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to place it over the peg where my skein ran out. Make sure when you tighten, you don't tighten it too tight. And then I'm just going to tie a knot and secure it. Okay, so now that I have my new skein attached, I'm just going to do the E-wrap as normal on all the pegs. After we do that, then we'll be knitting off as normal, taking our bottom stitch and placing it over the top stitch over the peg. Again, I advise with this yarn not to wrap too tight. It's real easy with this yarn if you do wrap it too tight for the fibers to come off. So you just want to make sure you just don't do it too tight. Now that we have our new skein on, we're just going to wrap as normal. So just continue wrapping and doing your e-wrap stitch until you get the length that you want. Okay, I have knitted the size of scarf that I want and now I'm going to bring the other side of my scarf in and match the ends to the pegs it's really easy to do. There's a little hole and you just slip it over the peg. So it's at the end of the, on both sides. And you just place that through the peg. Similar to a brim of a hat when you pull a brim of a hat, if you've ever done that. But it's the very end stitch on the scarf that just goes over the peg. Now we're going to take the bottom stitch over the top again on each one of the pegs, just like we've been doing. And this is gonna tie our scarf together. We're almost at the end of our project. So keep doing this and then I will show you the next step.
Now it's time to take the scarf off of the loom. So I'm going to pull out enough yarn to wrap around my loom one and a half times. Now I'm going to thread my darning needle and we're going to take the scarf off of the loom just by going up the peg and down the peg. So here is where you need your darning needle. So we're gonna start by going down the peg and then we're going to go up the peg. Now it's gonna be a little long and get tangled probably at first, so just be careful. Again, you don't want to pull this yarn tight because it will break, I promise you that. So now we're gonna go up and it can be a little tricky Try to hold the yarn with your fingers if you can when you're doing this. It makes the needle go up a little bit easier. And just take your time. There is absolutely no rush in doing this. See, as you can see, now I have a little knot. So I have to take care of that very carefully because this could potentially ruin my whole project. So I got my knot resolved. So I'm just going to slow down a little bit. I think sometimes I try to rush this part because I'm anxious to get it over with. Does anyone else do that? This yarn is very delicate though. I'm not even joking. As you can see, a little bit of fibers come off. I really do love the feel of this yarn though. And as of yet, I have not seen one knot. I've heard that in other yarns, in other velvet yarns, that there's knots throughout the yarn. I haven't seen one knot in both skeins. So just continue this process until you get to where your stitch marker is. And then we're going to do the next step. And remember, go slow. Now it's time to just pop your stitches off of the loom. So just go down very carefully and take the stitches off of the loom. And that's gonna do it. This is how it looks. So it's gonna be a nice little marker for the back and then we're just gonna sew the loose strings in. I do wanna show you some of the fibers that have come off, what that looks like. All in all though, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I'm gonna sew my loose ends in and then I'll show you what it looks like on me. And that's gonna do it for our Loom Knit Infinity Scarf. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I appreciate you watching and I will see you at the next one. Bye.